Good morning. Happy day 13 on the Summer of Wonder road trip through the Rockies from high atop the Wind River Range in Worthen Meadows, a national forest campground and absolute slice of heaven. We are so excited for this day. I know it all looks pretty great now, but at 3.30 this morning, there was massive thunder and lightning, huge rainstorm, and I had to scramble out and put my tarp on the top, which was very difficult to do in the dark, but I'm so glad I did, and we didn't get wet, not one drop. Well, this is our first morning where we just went back to bed and never got back up until about 8.30. It was a hard night with the storms, they were so loud. But it doesn't stop Lexi from wanting to swim, which of course is the first thing that we ended up doing today and why she's pulling me so hard. She loves the water so much and the lake was one of the clearest I've ever seen, but oh my gosh, it is absolutely freezing. Lex and I are taking a hike in the Popozi Wilderness. Sounds like the middle of nowhere. It actually is. In fact, we drove up the mountain last night to camp in the middle of nowhere and then went north on our hike. So um, this is a little out of my normal comfort zone for sure. Um, I don't know if it's helpful or not doing it with Lexi, but I feel better. Um, I know that this is bear country, so um, we're not headed too far into it. There are lots of people around who are, you know, here to hike for days and days and uh, into the wilderness and backpack and all that, but that's that's not what we're doing. <laughs> we're going for a hike. So just a couple miles and uh, it's a gorgeous morning and we're just trying to enjoy every bit of it. And Lex is um, loving it, but can also smell water somewhere. So she's a little extra hype. Well, her nose is never wrong. She was dragging me down this hill and now I know why. We found this beautiful little lake. I don't know the name of it so pretty. Wow. If not for Lexi, I would have turned around right now, but she was determined to find the water and knew it was here somewhere, so here we are. Okay, there's a giant animal in front of us. I can just see his rack, so I know it's not a bear, but we're going to proceed slowly. Okay, so it was a giant mule deer and a doe as well. And I had a fantastic video of the mule deer that I never hit record on. So all you see is the corner of his rack right here. Kind of embarrassing, but it was a pretty cool experience and he was beautiful. Okay, Lex and I had our two mile hike and now it's time for some caffeine. So we're doing it a little bit different today and I can't believe it's the first time I've done this on this particular trip, it's taken me this long, but it's a little too warm for a fire. So plan maybe C, D, I don't know. My trusty little propane stove and it's all hooked up with this little canister and all it takes and bombs away. Heating up. I can't froth my milk this morning so we're just gonna heat it. That's okay, but got the milk, got the chai. We are gonna be good to go in just a minute. Cheers to day 13 and be hanging out by the lake and having a killer campsite, which is just great. Surviving a thunderstorm and just hanging out today. We're heading out of our little slice of heaven called Worthen Meadow. Thanks to my friend slash book designer, Michelle, who suggested it in an email to me yesterday and I'm so glad she did because this is a million times better than anything else that I was looking at <gasps> and it's bumpy. All right, see you soon. So we've come down the mountain. We are headed back into Lander, about 3,000 feet lower than we started. And it's a weird feeling just because I felt like it was in another world up there. It was just so beautiful and peaceful and silent except for the wind and I don't feel like I belong down here right now. It's kind of a weird feeling but we'll figure it out. Sometimes I make spontaneous stops and this is one I'll never forget. I saw the sign for the Sacagawea Cemetery and pulled off the road about two miles to find it. It was so beautiful and actually a very moving experience. My kids and I spent a lot of time studying the Corps of Discovery and Lewis and Clark when they were little. 
and seeing the place where she was buried was really cool. It was the most personal cemetery I've ever been to. I love that the Shoshone people create handmade crosses and that there were so many personal items left at each one of the grave sites. It was really sweet and really special. It was such a beautiful setting and I just guess I just really loved how personal it was and how much there was such a presence of personalities and children and the love that these people have for one another even in death. I'm heading towards Dubois. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. It's been a gorgeous day. You can see this funky looking cloud up here and I'm pretty sure it's because of fire north of Dubois between the entrance to I made a decision that we were not going to rough it tonight. So welcome to the Longhorn Resort. It is the cutest place. More about it tomorrow because we're so darn tired. But we love our cabin and we're ready to call it a night. Please like and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube and Instagram. And we'll be back tomorrow with day 14 of the Summer of Wonder.